Welcome back to the channel, guys. Thank. I just want to say, but first of all, before we go any further, thank you to everyone for commenting up to now about our Germany trip. Um, we've had loads of comments. You've all loving it, and we've loved being uh, going through Germany. But we've lived, we've left Germany now. We've left Germany. We've left, left Austria. Yeah. And we had, we had one day or two days in Austria, didn't we? And yeah. Because it was very similar to Germany. We went to Innsbruck. Very nice. And on the way out, we even saw the big ski jump, didn't we? Oh yeah, you so both. So we moved on. We had some cracking scenery. Up, drive down over oh, the Alps. Oh, amazing! Fantastic. What a drive that was. And we're in somewhere where it looks almost like Spain. You see, we're on the t-shirt job now. Hey, look at us now. No, yeah, yeah no uh, waistcoats on or anything. So we're in a town called Bolzano in Italy. Northern Italy, still in the Alps, but where it's located, you get like shelter from cold breezes and stuff. So it's about 15, 16 degrees, isn't it today? Yeah. Sunny, and uh, hopefully I'll burn my head. We've just travelled in on our scooters. We're 16 minutes drive away from our camper van, and look at these behind us. Everyone's on the wine already. It's Everyone's only 12 o'clock. On the Everyone's on the bikes. We'll hopefully, we find a scooter amongst all that. It must be 300 bikes down there. And so. can I just say, the scooter lane from all the way where we are camped to here yeah, never stops. Well, it's amazing, off, it? amazing. So if you're on a bike or a scooter, you can yeah. get here easy peasy. But we're going to go and have a look around Bolzano. Yeah. Never been to Italy before. Don't know what to expect. It's a ciao, isn't it? Ciao for hello and goodbye, get that. I went to Italy years ago, I didn't have a work, but uh, to, only for a work near Venice, that's all. So. But it is frantic in Italy, like the drive out lunatic. Yeah, it's uh, a high population yeah. rate here, isn't it, by the looks of it? Yeah, but we're going to enjoy it. It's, I prefer it here with a warmer weather already, don't Blue you? Blue sky, Blue sky. Guys. It was red out yesterday, wasn't it? We're getting cracking solar. And later on in the video, we'll show you this park up because it works out about, is it about 10 quid a night you get facilities with that? The everything. Water and everything. The, the electrics a bit more. We'll show you that later. Let's go and have a look. Keep. Let's go and crack on. Oh, you found some colouring big enough for you, Mark. Chicken fried rice, aren't they? Then? <laughs> Jesus. There's quite a lot of influences from Germany and Austria still, because we are on the border, aren't we? About 30 kilometres away. So we're going to have a look. So we found the market. Oh my God, fresh fruit and veg. Pea you can't, it's like it's just come straight from the field, isn't it? Yeah. We've got herbs, we've got dates, everything. But we feel a bit out of place. We're the only ones with t shirts on, everyone's got thick coats on. Apart it's still winter to them, isn't well, it? Well, it is, but I read up about this place. It gets it's hot summers um, and cold winters for Italy standards, but still probably warmer than the UK. Uh, it's because it's surrounded by big mountains and stuff, so you don't get a lot of the cold wind. Well, there's, and there's loads of um, restaurants. Everyone's sitting down. Into, I'm expecting bolognese, pizza. Is that stereotypical, though? Mm. I think that's what you'll find. Went to a supermarket last night and everything was tomato sauce yeah, based. Full row, didn't they? Massive big cans of tomatoes. And stuff Lots like to get wells of get Where's the dol mio? They make their own here, don't they? So we're in Rome, but we're not in Rome. We're in Bolzano, but we've made it to Italy. So I've got to have some pizza. <laughs> and you're having a Donner box. Donner box. Cheap here, the food, isn't it? Yeah. Yours was six fifty. Mine's for four euro and they give you two slices. Yeah, enough, isn't it, that? Four euros yeah. for that. We're trying to be healthy. We bought some fruit, didn't we? Craft. <laughs> yeah. And it's really nice. Best pizza ever, isn't it? Yeah, just walk. You can believe I'm warm. Is it showing them trees? Like look so at this that we're looking at. Look at the trees all in blossom. You wouldn't believe it, would you, for March? I think we're just outside the Bolzano University. That's why it's so busy, but we're going to get this eaten now. Looking forward to it. So, how was your donut compared to I mean, the English a, ones? I don't think there are a lot in there, but like half and half with chips on it, so it's all right. But yeah, it's not, it's not like the normal lamb donut. It's like a chicken. Oh, is it? Yeah. So a bit more healthier then, probably. Yeah. I've, I've managed one slice, and Mark's tried to eat the other, haven't you? I can't believe you get two slices for four euros. That's really well, it's one cheap. One big one. We cut it in half, don't we? Wow. Too much for me. I've had some fruit. I'm trying to be good. Trying. Oh, well. really? It's sunny, it's you're really. burning. I can't believe you're always whinging your cold. Can't win. Are you ready to do some more looking around? Must be made here, then. Look, it's got a Bolzano on it. Well, that's a good day uh, now for a bit of van security. Can you imagine Can coming make... out at night time if someone's tampering with your van? <laughs> right with that, it's like a sword, isn't that's it? That's absolutely massive. The way the other bits are out of the side, isn't it? What does it just do, naffs and things like that? It looks all in there, yeah, it looks like oh, it. Oh, yeah, it looks like it makes them and stuff, doesn't it? 
they all say just for your toenails on um, them red ones. Oh, you are too funny for words. Right, we're going down here because we're looking for a Mackie D's because we can't find any public toilets, can yeah. we? There's no public toilets it's anywhere. Some, I have an apple there, so I can't find them. So, we definitely don't want to eat dinner because we've just had a lovely, lovely lunch. Very nice. The one thing you can't see here is because it's all thin alleyways, you can't see what's around the corner or what's no. up the road. It's very, very deceiving, isn't it? Oh, look at that. We've just come out into a square with a really old church, isn't it? And another church. And another. That looks like a church back in England, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Right, up here for your Mackie D's, Mark. Okay. Let's get you to the toilet before you end up having an accident. Wow, look at these. Have, has anyone ever seen these before? Smart rings. Sleep monitor, <laughs> fitness, cardio. Well, the only smart ring I know is if I have the dodgy Chinese. Look, it's a furry Chico. We could do one. It's just sat on a little bag. Watch for when it goes up. Is it going to tip? Oh! It knows what to do. Right? Yeah, look. Oh! Oh, that's well sweet, isn't it? Chico could do it on him, can he? When he gets tired. He likes to walk, look, Chico, because he's got quite long legs and he like, struts like a fancy horse, doesn't he? He does. He does like that, doesn't he? It's quite um, well known for chihuahuas around here, actually, in Italy, yeah. isn't it? They like the chihuahua. Yeah. So, oh, look at that. Just let me show you this view I can see from here. There's a house. Right up there. Imagine living right up there. Cracky. Just goes to show we're in the central area of the Alps, aren't we? So. Yeah, but imagine if you went shopping and you forgot the milk and you had yeah. to come all the way back down. And, and Bolzano, if you're visiting a place called the Dolomites, as we've mentioned in the previous videos, yep. that's just down the road, isn't it? Probably half an hour's drive, I think. Not far so. away now. We're but, getting nearer to it, aren't we? Yeah, the Dolomites is like a big spectacular. I mean, that's nothing compared to the Dolomites, so I'm led to believe. So we're going to head down there. Well, in the next day or so, aren't we? So. I'm re getting ready for my flabber to be gastered, mm. as they would say. That's just taken about... 10 minutes to get a coffee and that's a large one isn't it compared that's a to large mine. coffee that one as well um brit is nice and it's just took about two more minutes to discuss uh, describe what sh uh, sweetener is if we don't want sugar well, in you've it you've learned the new word for it and it's called dolce fanti isn't it yeah we could get you we're going to be bilingual when we get back to england aren't we anyways um the one good thing we know about mcdonald's here is to go to the toilet you have to buy some so they'll give you a code on your receipt i think it's a good idea that because people like us just go into mcdonald's use the toilet and don't get anything no we normally get some no I'll we do to, get something i was going to get a milkshake but the choice of soft drinks yeah or beer Lipton teas or a can of beer you won't <laughs> let me have can of beer no you, so. there's no, no no milkshakes over here i think the customers are not unhealthy i don't know you can buy a beer though can't you <laughs> yeah you can be an alcoholic but you can't be unhealthy Right, we'll go and have a carry on, shall we? We think we've found the old part of town as well now, where all the churches are. Seems to be a lot of churches down here, and it's a lot more open without any shops. Oh yeah, look at this around here, Mark. So what time is it here now, Mark? It's now just after half past two, Lisa. Half past two, Mark. <laughs> and look, and everyone's sat, just enjoying the sun. To be fair, it looks colder than, than actually is. It's quite mild, isn't it? Everyone's got their coats on, but that's typical of people in European countries where they're used to the warmth and yeah, stuff. Yeah, but we stood out like a sore thumb. No one's got their arms out but us. <laughs> feel a bit um, out yeah. of place, but There's it is. It's gorgeous. I've people with T-shirts on, but if I'd got my coat on today, I'd be too warm. It's about 14, 15 degrees, I think, in the minute. So, so this is a nice, big, um, impressive fountain here. It's not a fountain. Is it a fountain? Could no, be. Like it. Oh, it looks like it. Look, might it could be. have been at one time. Yeah. I'm not sure what it's called, but that's Leonardo Caprio on that top of there. Isn't it? Leonardo Caprio. Who's that? That's an actor, and it's Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, D. Like that. Casa di Respa Mario. Give me strength. It's Italian, isn't it? It's having do 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 fancy talk and stuff, isn't it? How's that go? Do 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 he 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 like that, isn't it? You've just insulted half of the Italian population. Have you noticed, Mark, the blossom's coming off the trees here? Yeah? We haven't even had blossom back at home yet. I know, some of them are heavily laden with blossom, isn't it? It's, so. There's just been a right load fall off it. Well, it's like on the floor. Isn't it? It's like dandruff. When did you last see dandruff? I get it now and again in, in, amongst my hair. <laughs> Got a new mate, Mark. <laughs> You ran about him the other day, weren't I you? I were. That was in uh, Rothenburg, weren't it? Yeah. 
Have your eye out there. He's got quite a big one, hasn't he? Mm. Spot the leading building. Where? You can't see it, Lee. That, yeah. It is a bit you might not pick it up on camera, but it's a and That bit. is leaning, isn't it? Yeah. This is Italy's own Dolini Tower of Pisa, isn't it? Yeah, but it's nowhere near here, is it? Well, it's about 100 miles away, isn't it? Something like that. 80 kilometres, 90 kilometres away. Old man's seeing that, but that's where, that's where it does get busy, isn't it? I know, but you, we'll see anyway, won't we? We'll see how we go. Look at that, we're painted on outside of the building. Mm. Completely different thing to well, England, isn't it? Like Completely. In Germany, isn't it? That, that, that leaning building. Now you might be able to see it leaning. It's yeah, definitely it's leaning, isn't it? Skew, it's a bit skew whiff, isn't it? Yeah. Back to the beginning. Can it walk around? Yeah, it's a big place, isn't it, Bolzano? We've just been into like a pound shop, but it weren't a pound, nothing were a pound. Sink, yeah, a uh, and we've got this. That little um, pocket holder. <laughs> oh, Christ. Christ, I didn't even hear him coming up. Yeah. Try again, we just nearly got run over. So we've got this pocket holder, we're going to stick it inside the wardrobe door, aren't we? Yeah. Just need a little bit more storage for your knickknacks. But we've got to get it back on scooter yet. We didn't think of that, did we? Yeah. Look at right. all these bikes here. We're looking to get a space, weren't we, for the scooters? I'm going to chain them now, aren't I? Yeah, so... Head back to the van. Yeah, we'll go and see how little Chico's doing. Good morning. Next day we've left Bolzano and we have just travelled about 50, 60 kilometres, would you say? Yeah. Mark's having a quick straightening his back session on the bed. Um, and we are in a place called St. Lorenzo. Is it Lorenzo? Lorenzo. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, something like that. We've just pulled over to get some dinner, had some um, hot dogs and guess what they were called? The, uh, the hot dogs were actually called knackers. Knackers. you got two in there. And they were big knackers as well. Very big knackers, weren't they, Mark? Fancy that. Chico, there's a cat outside. As if you get a cat in a car park like this, it looks quite stunned to hear a dog's bark. He's looking where it's coming from. Oh, it's a nice puddy cat. You're scaring him. Yeah. Yeah, so we're heading for a place called Cortina up in the Dolomites. Um, about another 40, 50 kilometres to go. Uh, we'll show you when we get there. We're hoping there's going to be parking because there's only two places to stop up there. You can't stop in the Dolomites because it's a, what do they call it? Park. National Park, isn't it? We'll see you at Cortina. So we've just pulled over because we've just seen an absolute gorgeous view. Mark's just nipped outside to go and take some photos from out there, but it's a bit too cold for me, so I'm going to do it in here. But look at this. Look how thick the snow is on those mountains that we're going to. Now, the worrying thing is, it's saying, if you see snow, make sure you've got your snow chains with you. We haven't. We didn't think of bringing snow chains. But look at this right in front of me. So that's the... That's the Dolomites, also known as the Dolomite Mountains, Dolomite Alps, or the Dom Dolmatic Alps. How was that for you? All right. Oh, just all right. I've seen it all before, haven't we? No, we haven't at all. It's the first it's time like, we've ever been. Just like Scotland. Is it? <laughs> egg? It's Scotland on steroids. This place, isn't it? Look at it.
we didn't get that right far did we cheeks we just come across a garage and they're doing lpg for 79 cents which is about 60p back in england so we're going to top up because we might be going somewhere very cold <laughs> we don't want to be out eating during the night do we you don't shaking stevens do you look so i was it about 60 pence then yeah something like it. it's cheap yeah it's really cheap isn't it mm -hmm. i'll just say we don't want to be out be out eating tonight if we're going to be um going somewhere really cold does the chap do it for you yeah service as well grand right i'm in was it 10 liters just over isn't it about seven pound fifty about not bad at all really is it yeah. now we've noticed a few places there's a, a lot of petrol stations up here so don't panic it does say get your petrol before you come up here but there is a lot and there's, there's a lot that do the lpg as well well we've come like the main way haven't we not the windy way yeah we didn't fancy the windy way one because there's still a lot of snow knocking around and two no good for the bus everything goes from side to side everywhere like that so no we've we've come back on ourselves a bit and gone over the top yeah. but we should be near nearing our uh, destination in a bit so again i'll show you what that's like we've just pulled over for a minute haven't we we got smacked the amount of snow up here um heading over the, the top road if you will over the mountains you've got the dolomites all in the background but the snow here it's like we, houses back there were buried over roofs weren't they the, the houses were derelict aren't they all the way down yeah. this road it's like they've given up they can't like Mark said, they must be getting snowed in for weeks on end. Yeah, this is piled up quite deep here. Yeah, this in, is, yeah. Probably two foot deep. And back there, it's well deep. But yeah. it hasn't snowed, has it, for weeks here? So Not, this well, is like this weeks is, old, this. Yeah, a week or two, isn't it, at least, since it's probably snowed. So, yeah, you soon get stuck here, wouldn't you? Look at that up there. No, it's um, it's breathtaking, but it's uh, a bit nerve-wracking as well. Because, but the road is absolutely crystal clear. Yeah. They've done such a good job. Uh, how far have we got to go now? They're 12 kilometres. 12 kilometres till it we must get be there. Cold. Doesn't feel too bad. He's dying to get out and go have a go in it. I said you're going to get wet. Will I? You get wet. You're not fetching it all in that carpet. Deep, Lisa. When we get somewhere and if it's still deep and we're parked up, you can jump in it all you want. Chico says he wants to go in no, this deep. Chico, stuff. you'd lose Chico in this. It's oh, that deep. Yeah. Wow, we've knocked it out of the ballpark this time. Free car park allowed to camp overnight with a view 360 view of the dolomites wow how lucky is this look at this i'll have to show you where we've parked as well because we're going to be sleeping over the edge tonight literally look at that chico's looking out the window for us I'm going to take him for a quick walk in the mud. He won't be happy because it's snow. He hasn't realised yet that there's lots of snow on the floor. We had sun the other day, so he's going to be wondering what the hell's gone off. But yeah, it's a free park up on search for sites. It was busy when we got here. There's a few spaces appearing now, but you're supposed to park on this back wall here. As you can see, a lot of it's covered with snow, but we've hit jackpot there with that one, I do think. And lasagna for tea. Oof. Looking forward to that. I'm looking more forward to getting again up in the morning and looking at this view with a bit of sun on it. Good morning, how strange is this weather? It's absolutely cracking the flags, but full of snow. Just don't know what to wear. I'm glad I fetched up quite a few different uh, outfits because, uh, yeah, a bit of a weird one, really. If I'd have come out in just a uh, T-shirt, I think I'd be getting everyone, look uh, everyone would be looking at me like I've gone mad. So the other day we were in T-shirts and just driving around on our scooters, like in Italy, and look at us now, back with dry robe on and headbands. Anyway, I'm ready. Once again, he's been whinging at me to get ready all morning. Guess who's not ready yet? I'm still waiting. Chico's ready. Aren't your cheeks? Got his little coat on. But I knew the views this morning would be spectacular. And I were right. By God. They're absolutely gorgeous. 
What a free park up this is. Hooray! Well, I, I know. Do um, might do. I don't, I don't know. No, I'm not bothered. I'm gonna get mine. Oh yeah. Are you finished doing your air? It's the snow what makes it dry. <laughs> oh, it's rare that. It's weird, isn't it? I've just said that. It's just so strange. You don't know what to wear for best, do you? The what? Your gooky ones. My gooky ones? Oh, no, gooky my grey ones, ones I oh, said. Oh, they spec Yeah. My gooky ones. I wish I had some gooky um, sunglasses. I yeah, I've just been it. saying you just don't know what to wear, do you? Because it looks like it's freezing on camera a bit, but it's absolutely yeah, roasting. Mmm, strange. If we had snow like that, this back in England, I mean, look at it all piled up here. It'd be absolutely freezing, wouldn't it? But it's just not. There's a gorgeous stream down there. We've, we've been able to hear it all night. Beautiful. Well, I've given in. Just standing here waiting for more. Come on, fire. It's too warm. I've had to put my body warmer on instead. Don't care what I look like. I got ready to wear my, my dry robe, but hey ho. Who cares? And I'm still waiting. He's still faffing around. I'm walking off now. He can catch me up. Too warm to be studying the sun. So this place is called Cortina and Cortina is quite a famous place for, I think it's 1956 Winter Olympics were held here um, or some of it anyway, not all of it but it's Mark's telling me that it's going to be held here again in 2026 so they'll be getting all geared up for that as well There may be some remnants of the um, bits that they used for the Olympics in 1956 I think it's the skating rink and there's a ski slope somewhere but it is still a big skiing place it is a skiing town hence why i think all these cars are here they've all gone off skiing this morning but there's a lot of building work going on as well and i'm wondering if that's for the new uh, olympics that are coming up as well because they can't just start doing it six months before it's due to start can it? it's going to take a few years i think but we'll take you up into the town and show you what cortina has uh, we've never been here before They've been nowhere near. Is that him coming at the background? About bloody time. I think we came out at van at 10. It's about 12 o'clock now. <laughs> I'm only joking. I think that's him coming. Yeah, here he comes. It's one of the brightest places that I've ever been because you've all this snow on hills everywhere. It makes it get bright, doesn't it? It's not full sun either, but it's still bright. It's crackers, isn't it? Have you got your sunglasses? Yeah, I've got them in my pocket. Right, can we get moving now? Yeah, it's all the pill, isn't it? Yeah. Get your uh, early morning exercise in, Mark. Yeah. Right, let's go. Look at this thing here. It's a Polaris. Got tyres on it, Lisa. I want them up motor on, don't I? <laughs> They'd get us through all this snow, wouldn't they? That'd be good in snow, wouldn't it? You smell petrol on there, can I? I was going to have a look at this bank of snow here, pal. Look at that compared. This is where they cleared off a car park. And if, look at that, it's higher than that car. And don't forget, it's days and days ago since. Uh, it snowed here, it must be a week or more at least I guess and that's just crazy isn't it? Snow everywhere. That good snow as well, Lisa, for a good snow bump. Yeah, it goes straight into our Chica. You can't get it. <laughs> Rolled down to nothing. Oh, yeah. he's licking it. Well he's trying to pick it up. <laughs> he's trying to pick it up. It's higher than it's higher than Chico, look. I know it's crazy, isn't it? So what do we know about this place, Cortina? Well, named after them. the famous Ford. It's not. No, it's not. It's probably named. Well, Ford's got the name for it, haven't they? So. But Mark's on about that it's like a jet set, jet set lifestyle. Yeah, I did here. a bit of search. If you look on Wikipedia, it talks about the, the jet, st and jet set lifestyle of uh, Cortina. I know Audi's got a big influence here, and there's Audi signs everywhere and yeah. adverts. Yeah. Massive. Yeah, it's. Uh, it is. You can already see there's quite a few people. We're walking around with. I've seen a woman with a fur coat on. What, no Have knickers? I, well, I couldn't tell you that, Mark. I'm sorry, I didn't look close enough. But uh, there's not going to be any charity shops here for me, I don't think. No. What a shame, because I bet you'd get some bloody bargains, wouldn't you? I mean, there's Gookie down the road, you can have a look at. Eh? Gookie. There is a Gookie shop as well. Those of you who doesn't know what he means, it's oh, Gucci. I don't know, I could do something. I'm sweating here. You won't believe it. I'm actually wiping myself. I'm sweating it. It's snow on All right. There's little kids behaving better than you, Mark. There's lots of doggies around everywhere, look. 
Hello. Chico's has seen a female that was smaller than him and she slapped him across the face, didn't she? She gave him a no, 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 no. You cannot sniff there. He didn't like the skirting, did he? Yeah, it did. Yeah, but look at these buildings again, they've been painted, haven't they? Oh, yeah, fakeries. Fakeries, Mark calls them. The shops we're seeing, they don't have windows. They actually just have... Oh, that one does have a window, sorry. It's, it's like clean, you can't see it. It's like cock on this chair, isn't it? Oh, goodness me. I can't sit down because it's an owner. Look at the clothes on it. That's nice, there. that, isn't it? Look at that Easter, Easter thing up there. Oh, yeah. I don't know what they're going to have in the shops when Easter's done because everything's Easter. They're going to have to swap everything over. Put in the comments below if you know that Easter's celebrated massively over here. All we do is chocolate eggs in England, well, don't we? And go to church. It's in Spain because it's Holy uh, Week, isn't it? We have a, like a week, at least a week, where they're on holiday. So, mm. And that's at the uh, end of this month, isn't it? So. What's this shop, Mark? Moncler. Moncler. <laughs> He's not with his designers at all. Yeah, Mark, do you want to buy me this? It's like a bag of beans isn't it? A bag of beans? It's only £1,161 Mark. Yeah, could buy new tyres for that. For that you we? could, couldn't you really? Crikey. You can see fruit material, I wouldn't mind. You couldn't even go for a shower in that on a campsite. Oh, it's a different lifestyle isn't it? 